Hello, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware of this device. It's a ATS 20 plus, as, as you can see here. Uh, one year ago, I published a tutorial on how to update the ATS 20 firmware using the regular way. I mean, via Arduino board USB. However, some uh, guys have been telling me that this approach doesn't work in some cases, especially with this device, ATS20+. At first, I thought this it's uh, maybe a problem with the configuration of this uh, guy's computers. However, more recently, I decided to check it out for myself. In fact, when I tried to update the firmware of this device, I noticed that the Arduino Nano, for some reason, I don't not know why, is not recognized by the Arduino IDE as usual. Normally, when we connect the Arduino uh, board on a computer via USB, like this approach, a serial port is created, allowing the computer to communicate with the Arduino board. But that's not happening here with the, this device. If that is your issue, and assuming you have already installed the Arduino IDE on your computer, please follow this, uh, follow my instructions. As you can see here, the original version is 1.5. So the idea here is to update to another uh, latest uh, version. Remove the upper cover. You don't need to re uh, remove all the screws here, just these four. Here, here, here and here. Well, now you should be careful when you remove the top cover because the, the speaker is connected to the main board so very careful here the nano comes with the isp interface this is a, another way to uh, program the the arduino so you can connect uh, this device, the USB ASP, the USB ASP interface to the Arduino. This device is a adapter to convert the 10 pins to 6 pin, and this way you can uh, connect it to the nano. Uh, please check the pump here and the direction. The next step uh, you have to connect this USB device in your computer. But you can, you don't need to uh, do it right now. Before, you, we need to configure the Arduino IDE to to uh, to use this kind of uh, program interface. Uh, check if all libraries uh, you need is installed in your Arduino IDE first of all 
o need to check is the the SI for Save 35 Arduino library. SI for seven thirty-five. So you can you will find this library. Please install is it if you don't uh, did it before. Another library that is very important is so it's very important for you to install these two libraries. The next step you need to install the Arduino board uh, mini core. You can do that by checking uh, this URL. You need to copy this, this URL on Arduino ID go to preference and on additional board manager URLs you need to add that link I did it before so I don't need to do this now but you need to put on this field that URL And then finally, on board, board manage, you need to install the mini core board. So install this, this the mini core, and uh, go to the file examples PU2 SCI4735 SCI47XX kit R express and you can choose any version here. In my case, I'm going to select this version. Connect the, the USB ASP on, in the computer. Turn on the receiver, the ATS. Check, select the mini core 80 mega 328. Select the external 16 megahertz. Disable BOD. Select, select the EEPROM, retain it. It's, it's very important, please, all select the LTO link timing optimization enable this it will shrink your final code and uh, variant you select you have to select the this first that first option bootloader no bootloader and you can select US BSP mini core or USB S slow mini core. And now just it finally should upload. Huh. 
after that uh, steps you can check the new firmware installed.